All right, Casey, for number 19 on page 212, we have, how does the estimate of the average daily snowfall for Wyoming's greatest seven-day snowfall compare to the estimate for the average daily snowfall for South Dakota's greatest seven-day snowfall? So if we look at the chart for Wyoming, it says in those seven days, there was 84 and five tenths inches of snow. So we'll look at that first. We're going to estimate, and we wanna find a number that is going to be divisible by seven. Okay, we are estimating, so it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to estimate 84.5 to 84. And we're dividing it by seven because it's the seven days worth of snow, but they're asking about the average daily. So we have to find out about how much snow there is per day. So then I'm just going to divide. Seven goes into eight once. I'll subtract. Seven goes into 14 two times. So for Wyoming, I'm just going to put a W so remember, there's about 12 inches of snow per day. So now let's look at South Dakota. South Dakota is 112 and 7 tenths inches of snow for those seven days. So I wanna again come up with a compatible number, something that I know is going to be divisible by seven. So I'm gonna to choose to use 140. And again, dividing by seven. Seven goes into 14 two times. Bring down my zero. Obviously it doesn't go in, so it's about 20, and this was South Dakota. Okay, so the average daily for South Dakota was about 20 inches, and the average daily for Wyoming was about 12. So the difference is about, and this little squiggly line means about, about eight inches. Okay, so that's how you would do that one. And then number 20, says the greatest monthly snowfall total in Alaska is 297 and 9 tenths inches. This happened in February of 1953. Compare the daily average snowfall for February in 1953 with the average daily snowfall for Alaska's greatest seven day snowfall. Again, using estimation. Okay, so let's work first with the numbers that are in the problem, and then we'll use the numbers from the table. So it says there was 297 and 9 tenths inches in the month. So I'm going to estimate the days of the month to be 30. And again, I want a number now that's divisible by 30. 297.9, I'm going to estimate that as 300. And then 30 divided by 3, or I'm sorry, 300 divided by 30 is 10. So this one was February. So it was about 10 inches a day for February 1953. So now we got to do the second part of that was compare it to the average daily snowfall for Alaska's seven day. So we're going to look at the chart. Alaska was 186 and 9 tenths inches, and that's for seven days. So I know I'm going to be dividing it by seven. So I want to find a number that's compatible that's also divisible by seven. So I'm going to use 210 because I know 21 is a multiple of seven. And seven goes into 21 three times. So I get about 30, and this one was the seven day, okay? So then it says to compare, so we wanna find the difference. So if we have about 30 minus the about 10, we come up with about 20 inches difference. So that's how you would work out number 20.